Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be another set review. Today we're doing uh, Tilde vs. Riddles at Collision 2022. Uh, now, I haven't seen the set because I was watching one of the other sets that was going on, and this happened in like 10 minutes, so I, I didn't even know it happened. Uh, the VOD doesn't have the first like 10 seconds, but like, you know, I could pretty much, I bet Riddles got hit by up tilt, up tilt, uh, up air, nair, no, I don't know. Riddles got hit. We're starting it. <laughs> so, I guess really quick, I said we're starting and then immediately paused. I will say, haven't seen the set, I already said that, but might not be as thorough, but I'll, I'll try. Because I've never tried reacting to a blind set, and I think it'll be fun. Uh, immediately, Riddles went Terry pretty much this entire tournament. I think he went Kazuya versus Cola, and I believe he went uh, Terry the arrest, which is good. Like, I like that he tried Roy. But, uh, oh my god, I like that he tried Roy, but sticking to Shotos, that's his, you know what, that's his bread and butter, and he does really well with them. This was a bad air dodge, I think, just objectively. Like, Tilde is nowhere near him. I think what Riddles thought was going to happen is Tilde hits this up air, maybe lands on the platform, or immediately after the fact, so like, see... I think actually it might have, it wasn't a great air dodge, but it was a great situation until then because he runs in and then he waits. He he's waiting for the reaction. He's waiting to see does Riddles jump. I don't know if you know if he has this jump. Uh, does Riddles jump? Does he air dodge? Does he do nothing? He sees the air dodge and then he just reacts with the back air. That was amazingly played from Tilde. Uh, now he has a huge lead. Like Riddles hit him probably with like a jab maybe, and that's about it. And then oh, it's up till it falls out and he takes like fifty for it. Actually, that shouldn't have hit. You know what? He got scammed. Uh, Riddles did, and then Tilda got scammed for like 70%, because that's just kind of what Terry does. Like, Terry... Terry's like the epitome of like, oh, I got in? Oh, okay, I'll just... I'll take your stock. It's actually insane. And he has two... Oh my god, that was like... He had like two interactions, maybe three. What is that? Jab, jab at the ledge into upbeat? That's insane. That kills so early. Like, Falco's, like, not super heavy, but he's not light either. He's, like, middleweight, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so, uh, insane catch-up from Riddles, like, took, like, literally no percent. He took, like, the back hit of an up tilt, maybe a laser. Uh, doesn't get anything off the up... I feel like Tilde either gets, like, the world off the up tilt, like he's getting right now, or he gets, like, nothing. Which just might be weird Falco percents. Like, maybe, like, certain areas it doesn't true combo in the up air, which would be weird. But I know hit stun's a thing with the percent, so, I don't know. Uh... But immediately, both these guys are getting so much off their interaction. They're getting at least 30, which I really like sets like this, where it's like, both players are hitting each other like three times in neutral, because it makes neutral that much more, like, meaningful. Like, sometimes, like, when you have, like, two sword characters playing, like, I don't know, not Roy, but, like, Lucina, uh, maybe someone like a Jigglypuff. Uh, and anyway, you get you get what I'm saying. Someone that doesn't get a lot of their hits, but they hit hard. Uh, like, the, the neutral's a lot less meaningful, but right here, these guys are doing, like, 50%, almost guaranteed. That sucks. That's just atrocious. Atrocious for two reasons. One, obviously, he died. That was... That just looked weird. But also, now, Riddles has go, and will most likely not drop... Because Riddles plays anti-kill... Never mind. He plays it so, so well, though. Like, there's so many times where Riddles is at, like, 150, 100, like, 200... And he just does this. Like, he hits you twice, and then he uses his special moves. Too high percent to get off the... Because this is actually tough for Falco, because Falco is only going to be killing now with just, like, a down tilt, like a raw back air. Like, it's it's tough because his uphill conversions don't work. He doesn't really have any throw confirms if you DI right. Does get the downer there, luckily. But he still took 80% when Riddles was at, like... Would have died from, like, any move he had. Which just sucks, because he got hit by a special. But Riddles plays so anti-kill so, so well. He just, like... He just pressures safely. He only uses like jab, basically jabs and down tilts usually. Sometimes he mixes up a special. And if he hits that down tilt, he hits that jab, you're taking 40 or dying. Which is absolutely nutty. Doesn't kill barely. I'll be I'll be damned if he gets off this legend interaction. Wow. Lucky man. That's insane. So cause there is a there's that's not like an accident thing. There is a hitbox where if you're Falco, uh, you can like, right at the end, you're like kind of invulnerable. Or not invulnerable, but there's like a weird thing where you'll go through someone right at the end of your side B. So that's definitely intentional from Tilde. Uh, but if Riddles just jabs there, he wins the game because he just jab, jab, up B. 
uh, goes to the greedy dash tag, but it doesn't matter. He gets it immediately right there. Having it, like jab being so quick, it's a jab, so of course it's quick. And then confirming into a kill at like 120 is absolutely nutty. Uh, but that's just kind of how Terry be. Terry is a he's a really good character. He, it's like it's I don't even know where to put him because it's hard to rate someone like Terry just because of such a lack of representation. Because I feel like all the other sh like fighting game characters have a decent amount. Like you have Vendetta, you have Andres FN. You have, um, Jazzo is the only other one I can think of off the top of my head. And you obviously have Riddles. But there's so many good Shoto players. And then, uh, as for Terry and Kazuya, Kazuya, uh, Riddles, I think Vendetta's trying to pick up Kazuya. Uh, T has a nasty Kazuya. <laughs> it's true, though. And then, uh, and then Riddles. But his, this, I feel like Riddles is kind of the only Terry. Or at least the only Terry performing like this. Like this obviously this is his highest result by far, but it's absolutely insane. That sucks. I feel like I didn't talk about this entire stock. Like Riddles got I'm surprised he didn't die there. Riddles was getting blown up, he got go, got greedy. Till they read the, the greedy stage control, and then he overextends for a nair into nothing. That would have been nothing. That's so weird. Hey, honestly, that's just a mistake. Straight up. It happens. I always try to analyze, like, oh my god. I always try to <laughs> analyze, like, hey, is that what was he going for there? Was that a misinput? Uh, did he did he mean to do that? Like, what's what's the play there, the optimal play? Like, did if he missed, maybe he tried to clank? But I think I think that's just genuinely a misplay. It happens. And then right here, he gets his clip or he gets his clip. He gets his jump clipped right here. So what I think Riddles was expecting is because he, he buffers the forward air right after. So what I think Riddles was expecting was for Tilde to side B right there when he like right before he shot the laser, and then Riddles would jump fade back forward air because catch him because Terry's forward air is really good. But he buffers the forward air and he dies. That sucks because not only obviously he died to zero, but he also didn't get go, which is such a big thing for Riddle, or for Terry, especially for Riddles because of how good he is at using it. Super unfortunate. Um, look at that. Oh my gosh, that forward air is amazing. I always forget, like, I feel like it's such an underrated move, but just like all of Terry's kit. Maybe Terry's not that underrated. Maybe I'm the only one that doesn't think of him as a broken character when, like, broken characters come to mind. But he obviously is, because he kills at a jab at, like, a hundred. He's, he's literally just Krom and Roy without a sword. <laughs> like, it's... And he can cancel his moves. Uh, now this is... This isn't even scary for Riddles yet. This is scary for Riddles once he gets to, like, once he gets to 100, it becomes a lot less scary for Riddles. But right now, it's like, if Tilde can kill him under 100, that's going to be his main goal. But if he doesn't, then it becomes a really, really scary for Tilde. And honestly, it's looking like Riddles doesn't even need to go the way he's playing right now. That's not dead. He's just catching every single option with the jabs. Look at that. He just follows Tilde. Like, Tilde's, the fastball air dodge, I wonder if he goes for the platform there... He just, or he being Riddles, just reacts with like an up air or an up B. But going like beside is just really tough. Because you can see, uh, Tilde, that was actually very, he's like, he's drifting to the left. And then he immediately, right, right before he lands, he drifts to the right. Every other character in the game besides four, um, that, that works. Like they, people don't expect that. Maybe they go for a grab, they go for an up smash at a shield maybe. Maybe an up B, well up B would have caught. But since it's Terry, he just drops shield jabs and th you just have to hold that. Because, God, that was so, so well played from Tilde, but so, like, Riddles just said, I'm, I'm playing the character and I know that, I'm going to get in the right position. Which is just, both players, very good recognition. I like the attempt of Milde from, oh my god, I like the attempted mix-up from Tilde. So this is the, the Terry auto-cancel move. The auto-cancel up tilt. I like that he, I never, he intentionally, because he, after he gets hit, he intentionally does this so he can do the spot dodge to get that Nair side beat, which is 42. That's just cool. I've never seen that. Anytime people use moves, like, anytime, like, the back cl flick is used, back back B is used for Terry, or, like, that move, I just think that's really cool. That sucks for Tilde. Getting Riddles to the exact percent is now almost assuredly Riddles is kind of winning this game. Oh, okay. I don't mean, oh, I'll pause it. I don't mean, like, winning like he's going to win. I mean, like, it's like when Wario has waft and he's at a hundred and you're at zero, 
and you both are on the same stock, it's kind of an even game. But now, after that combo, Riddles is assuredly winning. But Tilde kind of has to get up, up there, up tilt back here, like near the ledge too, because Riddles is, or Terry's fairly heavy. Uh, very surprised he didn't die from that straight up. That was an immaculate DI. But now this is really scary. Like, really scary, because he kills, Riddles kills off down tilt, he kills off jab. Uh, yeah, there it is. That's just absolutely nutty. Riddles brought that back, three stocks to one, lose, literally SDing at like, I think one, I think his first SD was pretty high, and then getting gimped, essentially, at zero, uh, by the laser. That's insane that he brought that game back, I have no idea how he did that, I was, that was, not, he, he didn't even use go, really, he used go, like, at the end of the game for, like, 40 damage, admittedly, it was a big 40 damage, because it got him the advantage that won the game, but he, it wasn't like he just go crutched the entire game, like, he just out neutral till day, which is actually insane. Because Tilde is just phenomenal. And now if you're Tilde, you're kind of like... I was I was at like less than 50. I had a huge lead. He was... I had stocks on him. I had I had mounds of stocks. And I lost that. That's that's tough. And, and you have to reverse three of them now. And then he gets a combo like that. Immediately start the game. 50 damage in the first 50 seconds. 50 seconds. 10 seconds. Like if you look at this. This was like... Tilde started this set off so strong. Like he was just oppressing Riddles. And now it just... It feels like he's lost, man. Oh my goodness. That was... He just got called out. I don't even know. If, that's just kind of a reaction. I feel like the side be there. That's just a, that's just a, a greedy Gibby center stage, which is something I feel like Foxes and Falcos can do when they're, they, like, they're in panic situations. They're losing. They're down. They're like, I need, I need something to be going my way. You get center stage. You get your combo. But Riddles is just like, okay, I'm just going to kill you and then do 70 while I'm talking about what happened last talk. Is like Riddles is just his damage output is actually nutty. It's actually insane. And Til look, Tilde gets his combo started and gets nothing off it. Gets another one though. He's I will Tilde is still very very good at finding the up tilt even in least. Oh, good spacing. Wow, he gets the kill off of that. Surely, surely he doesn't botch this. He does. Oh, good air dodge. Um. I feel like here you have to go for the nair or the fair. The double downer is ambitious. Unfortunate, really. Uh, I think if he does that, he definitely gets the kill. And now Riddles let like because if he got that kill, that would have actually put him back in the game huge because uh, Riddles didn't wouldn't have gotten go. Uh, but now he has it. He, he's doing so very very well. He's not taking a lot of damage. He's keeping Riddles at the ledge for the most part. Can't punish that, but he does get the roll in with the down tilt. And that's very, very fortunate, because like I said, Falco kind of hits that range, especially with the rage he has right now, where he can't really kill off of any confirms, he just has to get a raw kill move like that back here, like that down tilt. So he gets it, and then Terry says, oh, you don't have kill confirms at high percent? Oh, I can just do that off my jab, or my down tilt, or my up air, or any of my moves, literally any of them. And off two interactions, oh, okay. Finally. <laughs> Till the SDIs, because you can't really SDI the up B, or at least not that I know of super efficiently, but the down B you definitely can. Reels, or Till they finally gets that. Honestly, a little too late into the set, but instead of taking like, uh, I don't know, 65 and still being in disadvantage, he's now in it in advantage, doesn't take that much. And I say not that much. Oh, I, I respect it, honestly. Maybe expecting just the normal side B, but the back dash is usually better for the ledge just because of that arcing hitbox above it is actually muddy. Like Riddles just throws that out and it's it's really hard to challenge. And there he goes challenging it right away. But that was on the startup, so it doesn't count. Is he no. Yeah, I was gonna say that would have been they they need to nerf the character for sure if that killed. Goes to the Trump. Doesn't get it. That's not gonna kill. And now this if Tilde can kill off of this interaction, he's back in the game. If he can't Oh wow, that's such good pressure. I love I love people just short hopping, and I feel like Tilde, like the spacey players do really. Tilde does it really well. Light does really well. Jackal probably does it really well. I don't really notice that because when I'm watching Wolf, I'm like just side B. <laughs> I need to do Jackal set review. He's so sick, but he's just he's just short hopping on the shield. He knows Riddles wants to do something, and he probably thinks Riddles is going to jab out of shield because that's what I would guess he would do. And he just drifts back on that back here, just because it's safer in general, but then if Riddles does go for jab, he can just run away, he can side B, he can forward smash, he can just do whatever he wants. And then Riddles just ends the set after all this calculated talk of Tilde spacing a back air. He just runs in, and he up smashes. 
Was that even shieldable? Did I think Tilde air dodged? I know he did. I just don't know that caused him. Oh, yeah, I think that air dodge put him in too much uh, falling or end leg, and he got up smash. Very very well played. Very fast set. Like that was so good from. Real. I feel like they were like Riddles was living a lot longer until he wasn't, which is how Smash works, admittedly. But if Riddles was, like, living past 100, I felt like he was living to, like, 150, guaranteed. And if he was dying before, he's dying at, like, 70. But that was only in the first, like, couple games, really. A couple, by, I mean, like, the first two. And then Tilde... Tilde was just getting... It, it didn't even matter when he was dying, because he was getting, like, five neutral interactions max, if even. And then it was just over. Like, that's very, very tough from Tilde. Very well played from Riddles. That's a fire set. I can't believe I didn't watch that. I'm glad I did now with you guys. Aww. Um, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what sets you guys want to do. Still haven't done the Summit set, so I'll come back to that. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want me to make. Uh, I might, and we'll see, this isn't a guarantee, try to restream uh, the Katar tournament, because I think that'll be very interesting for a Smash World Tour tournament. We'll see about it, though. Uh, but yeah, expect more content, more game stuff too. I want to do another little indie game video maybe. But uh, we'll see. Anyway, yeah. If you guys have any suggestions for literally anything, comment down below. Maybe I'll check it out. Please sub. All that yada yada. Whatever time it is. Hope you're having a good time. And I'll uh, see you guys next video. Bye-bye.